New tonight, we are highlighting an Evansville artist who turned his passion for blood and guts into his livelihood. 44 News anchor Brian Miller went on the road to meet this unique business owner. It's a quiet, sunny afternoon in this peaceful neighborhood featuring dead-end roads. But if you listen and look just a little bit closer... What you see just might scare you. He's going to be another character. Here in this garage, you'll find some of the bloodiest and scariest faces come to life by this artist's hands. Uh, my name is Jim Brown. Uh, this is my business, mask making, uh, Evil Jay's Creepy Closet here in Evansville. Started doing it because I love Halloween, I love ho uh, horror movies. It's that lifelong passion for things that scream or go bump in the night that led Brown to pursue his dreams of creating nightmares. And I started doing it just because we would have a Halloween party every year. And instead of buying decorations, I was making decorations for the party. And then people kept saying, yeah, this is really neat. Could you make me something like this? Or would you sell me something like this? So then I started an um, eBay account putting stuff on eBay, and then a website after, the, after that kind of started taking off, and then uh, started traveling to the trade shows, and now it's snowballed into a full-time gig. Brown says he makes hundreds of items like these each year, painting, sculpting, and creating masks and props. A lot of people go walking through this neighborhood this time of year. There's a lot of kids playing, birds chirping, but there's also a hidden gem. This house has become a bit of a tourist attraction here in this west side neighborhood. Yeah, I get a lot of looks. I see cameras coming up as people drive by. They'll slow down and they take pictures as they come by the house. And uh, when the weather's nice and people are walking, a lot of times they'll walk up and they want to know what's going on in here. It's not all gory fun and games out here. Evil Jay's closet began as a part-time gig, but now he spends more time in his studio than in his adjoining home. It's a professional journey that began about 25 years ago. Because I worked full-time at the motorcycle shop on Franklin Street, and then I would come home and work late, late nights here. Once, it, once I could see that it was starting to snowball, then I really kind of jumped in and worked hard to make it happen. And for Brown, the sweat, tears, and of course the blood, lots and lots of blood, has all been worth it. In Evansville, Brian Miller, 44 News.